Hey guys, Pony McBonaton here, and welcome to a game called Black Mesa. Now, first of all, I'm gonna just start off the game right away because this shit's loud. So, if you're wondering what Black Mesa is, it's actually a retextured version of Half Life 1. Now, I figured since I'm too poor to get Half-Life Alex, and I've already got all these other games anyways, I figured I'd at least be canonically sensible and do all this stuff first. And I also promised myself the minute I got a better computer, I would try this game out. Well, research facility, Black Mesa, New Mexico. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. All right. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105 by the the way, Black Mesa compound the is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah, the train ride is so long, we're hitting load zones. Hello, nerd. Filled in a place with nothing but fucking nerds. Okay, to be fair, I'm a Magic the Gathering player, so I should shut the fuck up. This train is inbound from level 3 dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 um, and board a high security train. We're scientists. Why do we have warheads? What the fuck? If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Alright, cool. So, oh my god, look at that. That's just beautiful. So yes, in case you were wondering, this is before the events of Half-Life 2 and Half-Life Alex. That's right, this is actually Due to half the high life toxicity one. of material routinely handled in and the Black Mesa compound, what happens in this game no smoking, what kicks eating, off everything or else, drinking are all permitted the within the Black Mesa transit system. I, I'm sorry, I'm just excited. I never thought I'd actually have a computer powerful enough to handle this until now. Reminds me a little bit of Doom 3. I should play that soon if you guys want. You want Daddy to play Doom 3? Okay, I'm sorry I said it like that. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, Passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Tell me I'm going into a vault. No, alright. I, I won't go back to Vault 101. You guys can't fucking make me. No, 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 you bitch. Don't. Okay, fine, fine. I'll, I'll go in the vault. He's got literal shields on my side. Of guys, tram stopped. Oh, you gotta close that behind you, right? Sure, sure. You can do that while the tram's moving. No, no, no. Alright. 
Onward, tram! Oh god, another load zone. Yes, the train ride is so long. We're going into another load zone. Okay, to be fair, it is a pretty cool way of showing off all the stuff. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon oh, that's right. will like commence this evening at no, 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. Cool. Assigned to the Anomalous Materials Laboratory. It's like SCP, except way less cool. I think. Do I'm you not have sure. a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. That shit? The giant fucking robo ants. Yo, whose dick do I have to suck to get a giant fucking robo ants? I want a robo ants. Like a double wide surprise walking around like that. Oh my god. I'm going to be late for work because of how long this is. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation Yo, safety officer immediately. Yo, what the fuck? Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Oh yeah, you want to get inside. This Mountain Dew does not look good. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Uh, fucking finally, I thought I'd never get Please to Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Yo. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Morning. Looks like you're running late. Ah. Uh, gee, I wonder why! Maybe it's the fucking 40-minute train you know, ride. Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Mm, yes, Barney the alcoholic. Yo, what up, nerd? Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Wait, Gordon had a ponytail? No fucking way. Oh, anomalous materials lab. Yo, hey, what Mr. up? Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Oh, of course. All right, yeah. Yeah, what up? They need you in the test chamber. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Jay, head of science personnel. What up? Materials test lab. Random blonde lady. Good morning, so Dr. Freeman. Thanks. Here, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. 
Those TBS reports have gotten progressive. Oh, you know, would you look at that? Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Yeah. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Uh, looks like you gotta get a steak now. Fucking. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, can't open that door for some weird reason. Yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my head. Good morning, Gordon. Good morning. That's a finger smile. What up? You'll just have to wait until after the test. Alright. Fine, wrinkle face, McGee. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? Heh. <laughs> you should focus on inventing something new and unique. Oh, hey, it's you again. Yo, what up, fuckwit? Why can't I hear what they're saying? Hey! Open up. I want to talk to you, Mr. Suit and Tie. Ah, fine, go, go chatter away. Mm, I don't want to go through this. Yeah, I want to talk to people. Sup, nerd? You forgot to carry the two. Or was it the three? Still studying paleomathematics, eh? Yep. No clue what the fuck that is. We can talk later, Gordon. Oh, everyone's so fucking busy like they're doing work. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. Hmm. Yes, a lot of big words to you too, buddy. It's cool. Let's see, was it this way, or...? Hmm. Morning, champ. Morning. Hello. Howdy, ya. Uh, mmm, casserole. Hey, look, I know how to use an, a microwave. Isn't that cool? Good heavens! Oh. What the hell? Uh... It's... It's fine. <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? Let's find we out. We'll never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause, uh, that was, um, that was you know who's lunch. Oh, damn it. You know, you know what I think to that? Boink. Have you seen my coffee cup? Immediately. Oh, they Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I agree. Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. Let's see, where, where's my, where's my locker? I know I've got a fucking locker around here somewhere. Aha, Freeman. Let's see, I got a battery, a picture of a baby, my certificate, the lotion. And yeah, that's about it. Ugh, drat. No toilet paper. I got you, fam. Let me just, oh. That's it. You have permission to uh, shoot hello? me if I say that word again. Hello? Could some- Oh, thank heavens! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper! Oh god, I can't steal it from him. It's gonna be a dick and be like, Ah, psych! You fucking thought, you weenie. Uh, I'll press the green button! There it is. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System. For use in hazardous environment conditions, I impact reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic medical systems engaged. Defensive weapon selection system activated. Mission level monitoring activated. Communication. Sure, we got a battery here, I think. Power 30%. Thank you. 
Thanks. Looking good, uh, huh? I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Yeah, before all that radiation destroyed your testicles like a bunch of walnuts under a steamroller. Ah, that was funny. The way they popped like popcorn all over the place. And that scream. Yeah, my balls. Ooh, yo, what up? I hope things return to normal after this experiment. Don't what you nerds doing? You'll just have more to do. Just a minute, Gordon. Just a minute, Listen, Gordon. Listen, I'm only going to explain this to you one more time. If you have a question, that isn't my problem. It's yours. Right. And if I have a question, it isn't my problem. Oh, contraire. It is still very much so your problem. Now, do we have a problem? No. Really? I don't see a cup of coffee with two sugars and no cream in my hand. Do you? No. Well, that looks like a problem to me. What the hell does PC Loadhunter mean? Holy shit. Even I want to give you a fucking wedgie. Don't be ridiculous. Hello, Dr. Cross. No, I'm Freeman. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. God, everyone's so fucking busy, you know. You gotta cherish the time you have with your friends and co-workers. Because one day you may not have any more time. Oh, it's you. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going this way. Hello. Go right on through, sir. Thank you. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Yep. Whatever the hell that means. What up? Ah, Gordon. Yes, it is I, Gordon Freeman. Without his miraculous ponytail. How deep are we at this point? Like, Jesus, man. Let me take a quick peek down. All right, thank you, load zone. Okay, uh, yeah, we're pretty f far down, I guess. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Are you sure? You better be sure, damn it. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. <laughs> nerd. What a fucking weenie. What's up, Doc? Uh, not much. Uh, just let me in. Hi, Freeman. Can't you see I'm busy? Yeah, I don't care. I'm starved of human contact. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Well, fuck you too, fucking... Ugh, bitch. Hello, old chum. Oh, you want to talk, don't if you? If another on? instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Uh, don't don't take that too literally, buddy. Please, please not. Let me just throw stuff like an angry child. <laughs> Hello. Ah, Gordon. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Yeah, why the fuck did you say test chamber like that? Test chamber... Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. I bet. Greetings, Eli! Morning, Yo. Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. Yo, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes... They're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical. Don't worry, I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. See, I'm fixing it. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? It was never meant to do this in the first place. Out of my way. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. There, I fixed it. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. 
Um, okay, I'll ignore that giant thing that says failure. Oh, no, that's a cool elevator. This could take a bit longer than I anticipated. Really cool. Holy shit, I love it. What's up? By Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. Who's Beckrell? Fucking nerd. You know, this is far from the glory we all have to wear these undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal. And I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push it. Yo, what's up? Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. I heard. Sorry, it's the fucking 15-minute train ride. Ah, uh, here he is. Yeah, what's up? I'm afraid we'll be... Deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. Uh, We've assured yeah. the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. All right. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Yes, I'm all ready. So now what? There. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Alright, uh, cool. Oh shit. Oh, my ankle. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I am seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Our recorder, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please, work as quickly as you can. All right. Overhead capacitors to 105%. What am I supposed to be doing? Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance here. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready for it. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Right. That's it, right? Huh? Alright, uh. Standard insertion for non standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier into the analysis point. Oh, 
I have a flashlight, that's right. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, you. You. What are you things? You're disgusting. Oh. Oh, got it. Uh, hi. Oh, oh god, don't touch me with your weird little fingers, please. Oh god, my fucking head. Oh, this can't be good. Oh god, I'm, I'm sorry, I stole that. Uh, you know, you, you got this on your own. Uh, Warning! Unauthorized biological forms detected in Sector C. Well, oh my fucking god! What the hell is happening to these people? They're getting ripped apart the way on our feet. They're getting ripped apart of gushers. Oh my god, it's horrible. Listen, I, I tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Hey, By Schrodinger's cat! He's alive! Gordon! Thank God for that hazard suit! Yeah, thank God. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. You need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. <laughs> oh God, what kind of fucked up cat is that? Keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? All right, I got you. Uh, I don't mean to alarm you, but I think everyone else on this force is dead. Oh god! No, okay, yeah, that dude's dead. But... Oh god! Oh god! Yeah. Oh, you got turned to slime. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, apparently a guy exploded behind me. I didn't even notice. Uh... Oh god, I gotta go for... Ugh, there we go. Don't try to save you. Help me! Get me out of They're fine. I'm sure they're fine. No, they're, they're they're fine. They're fine. I promise. They're a okay. Gordon. Gordon. Oh my God, Barney. Man, am I glad to see you, Barney? You're what bald. the hell are these things, man? I don't Why know. Why are they wearing science team uniforms? Lead the way, sir. Alright, cool. Uh, hey, I'm gonna end the video off here. In the next episode, we will be exploring further with Bonnie.
As for now, this is Boney McBonington here. Have a good day now, and goodbye, and... Well, Are we all set yet? I hope so. I really hope so.